This video today is brought to you by Flow Bottle. Flow Bottle, the bottle with a twist. Get your Flow Bottle today at flowbottle.com. Link in description below. Okay. So, by now, most of you, if you're watching this video, have probably seen the debate on Patrick Pitt David's podcast, the PBD podcast, with Candace Owens and Chris Cuomo. If you haven't, I would suggest go watching it. It's a very good debate, very good conversation. Um, but I just watched it. Now, give you guys a little bit of context. I am a conservative. I went to school in Oklahoma, and then I went, ended up going to Oregon State. I remember being in Oklahoma and seeing that once Trump got elected, there was 120 people at Oregon State arrested for protesting. I just remember seeing that and being like, wow, 70% didn't vote. So this is the environment I went into. Um, this is the environment that I come from. I was always the guy raising my hand. I love debate. I've always been a fan of debate. I think healthy debate is great. I've never in my life, I can't think, maybe a few times, like a handful of times, been in a debate, been in a conversation that went sideways, that went south, that was uh, that had animus. And I've, like I said, I went to Oregon State. I was in a very female, liberal dominated major. And I was always raising my hand, whether it was the gender pay gap, whether it was, you know, guns, whether it was um, Trump or abortion, always put my hand up. Hey, have you thought of this? Now, I wouldn't say that morally my issues, you know, the things that I believe morally have ever been changed. You know, I still believe what I believe um, about certain issues like abortion and, um, you know, just factual things. But my my um, ability to empathize with people has changed and hearing why they think the way they do. So take that, store that away, you get to this debate. And I, up until Chris Cuomo had gone on Patrick Pat David, I had a certain opinion of him. Um, this is a liberal, this is a, a, somebody on the left that is continuing to go to the left and is just allowing themselves to be, um, a puppet for this cog and this machine. I no longer feel that way. Chris Cuomo is somebody that I would personally love to have on my podcast that I think would be an amazing person to have as a friend, um, would be a cool person to hang out with, uh, would be somebody, I mean, he's a fisherman, he's you know, in um, the Coast Guard, like he is a person that I respect now, having heard him speak for a few hours at a time and having him have discourse with people. He is not the person that I thought he was. Juxtapose that, I understand now why people do not like Donald Trump. And I understand now why Candace Owens gets a bad rap. Chris Cuomo could not have been more of a respectful person in this interview. And Candace Owens, I, I, I did not see much respect from her. I'll put it that way. Um, Candace, I, I will say this, I would vote for Candace over Chris Cuomo, strictly on policy at this point. Um, strictly because I do not believe some of the things that Chris Cuomo believes about policy personality, I would much rather be friends with Chris Cuomo. Um, I would much rather have him on my podcast. I would much rather have a dialogue and a conversation. And here's why. Candace is the type of person that it seems can't disagree with somebody without having animus or without having some sort of enemy in the conversation. Now, the approach I've always found most beneficial in debating and and Candace can argue with this, and Chris can even argue with this, and anybody can argue with this. But what I've always found that has won people over to my side is hearing what they have to say first. So I'll give you an example. Um, I had a conversation with a friend of mine one time from Bible study, and this this person was a uh, very staunch liberal. It was, it was pretty well known that this is how they felt about the subject matter. And, you know, they start talking to me about guns. I'm a pro-gun guy. I believe in the Second Amendment. I don't think the Second Amendment is just uh, 
for defending our homes, defending ourselves, which I think is a huge right that all people should have, all Americans should have, um, and people of other countries should have. Um, but it's also to prevent a tyrannical government. So the government has checks and balances, and that biggest checks and balance is the people. That's how we became a country, and I think that moving forward, you know, maybe we have some certain rules and regulations in place, but that's what I believe. So I have this conversation with somebody that's completely anti-gun. And I say, well, tell me why. Why do you think that we should not be able to conceal carry, to have our own firearms? You know, the, the talking point is always the AK, uh, or I'm sorry, the AR-15. You know, just tell me why. And I, I listen to them. And, and, you know, my response was, hey, I appreciate, this is what I think, you know. And I actually changed their mind on this issue. At the end of the day, Candace has got to ask herself, and Chris has to ask himself, what is my goal here? Is my goal to win this argument or to win the people listening, to win the person I'm talking with? Um, and with certain issues and with certain people that are, especially if they're being respectful to you, you're not going to win them over in, in an argument. You're not going to win them over in, in a fight. You're just not going to do that. Now, there are certain issues that's like hard line in the sand. You cross this, it's a fight. It's a fight. Um, you know, somebody grabs my wife's butt out at night. That's a fight. Like there's no, Hey buddy, you need to it, like, they're getting hit and I'm probably going to jail. Like, that's just how I am. Um, and there's certain lines in the sand that you have to go through. It seems like anything is a line in the sand for Candace, any issue, any topic. Um, and, and it is frustrating because watching that, I understand, like I was saying earlier, I, I understand why people don't like Trump. Now I'm starting to get it. This is somebody that, for me, I agree with on almost every single policy. But I watch and I'm like, I don't like the way they interact with people. And I think that's what a lot of people get when they see Trump, is maybe they would agree with him on policy, but because of the detestable character that they perceive, right, wrong, or indifferent, they cannot distinguish that. So they hear somebody else, speak speak more clearly or speak you know maybe not even more clearly but just kind and respectful in what they perceive you know i don't necessarily think that the the trump and biden camp is a good example of that contrast uh not so much as i thought the cuomo and owens camp was but they see that they perceive that they get a media narrative of him you know giving a one-liner and all of a sudden it's like i can't vote for this guy and i get it i understand it now i'm starting to understand now as a as a human being why people don't like certain people just because of policy or just because their policies may align and so i think moving forward as a society as a country we've got to listen to the content of what people are saying the heart behind it and ultimately we got to vote with our morals you know morally what do i think let me let me put it this way it's actually, this is actually an interesting point. So, let me finish that. Morally, what do I think is going to be best for society? What do I think is going to be best for our country? I'll say this, going back to what I was just saying. I think the world would be better if more people handled themselves like Chris Cuomo on a personal level, but I think society would be better if we had more people like Candace Owens implementing policy, if that makes sense. Because I think she implements the right policy, but she doesn't conduct herself in a way that is super respectful in these contexts. Now, I thought the interview was great. I do agree with Candace on most things. I just don't agree with her approach because I don't think that she's trying to win anybody over to her side. I think she's just trying to shout down the left, um, which, you know, she claims to be a Christian. I'm a Christian. That's not what we're called to do. And, you know, everybody took offense with this, um, you know, Jesus didn't teach hate, he washed feet ad. I haven't heard anybody take a biblical stance on why they disliked it. Um, but it is true. The Christians in the society are supposed to be, you know, a different way. You know, Jesus says, you know, if he, if he uh, Jesus says in the Gospels, if they ask you to go one mile, go two. If they take your cloak, give them your tunic as well. And so I believe that's what it says. They slap you on the face, give them your other cheek. So I think there's ways to handle certain people. I think there's ways to 
bring other people to the fold. I don't think shouting people down is the best way. And, and I do think there is growth in conversation. Ultimately, podcast was great. Um, the interview was awesome. I have a ton of respect for Chris and I like Candace. I think, you know, as far as what I've seen from her, this is one of her more mild interviews. Um, and she was able to, you know, talk with Chris better, but I would like to see more. Let me know what you guys think. If you liked it, if you were on Team Candace, Team Chris, obviously, you know, you're probably most of you are gonna say Team Candace because of the audience and the platform that I already have. But uh, let me know what you think. Share this video if you like it and uh, subscribe and uh, make sure you leave a like. So appreciate you guys.